ChatGPT just rolled out O3 Mini, their first reasoning model that is available to all users, including free users. I have it available here on my account. They actually come in different versions of O3 Mini that I'll show you here and kind of how they compare to the old O1 reasoning model. But O3 Mini right now is rolling out to every single version of ChatGPT. Okay, first let me show you what O3 Mini is here from their blog post and then we'll test out some prompts here inside of my account with O3 Mini and a couple of the different versions they have available right now. And they pushed the release forward because of the pressures they got from DeepSeek's R1 release. That's a free reasoning model from a Chinese startup that got released about 10, 12 days ago and it went completely viral. So they decided to push this forward and it got just released right now today available to all users of ChatGPT. Now right here, the one thing they pointed out is this is exceptional at STEM capabilities. So that's math, science, coding, things like that. Now it's also low cost for developers that are gonna build applications on top of it. The latency is lower. And this is gonna replace the O1 mini model from the model's dropdown. So O3 mini is gonna take the place of that. Now right here, ChatGPT Plus team and pro users have access to O3 mini starting today. And then down here it says starting today, free plan users can also try O3 Mini by selecting Reason in the Message Composer. This marks the first time a reasoning model has been made available to free users of ChatGPT, which I think is a really big deal. Pretty much everyone that uses ChatGPT for free has never even seen the capabilities of the O1 reasoning model or the O1 Mini reasoning model, and now they get O3 Mini reasoning. Now this is interesting, while OpenAI O1 remains our broader general knowledge reasoning model, O3 Mini provides a specialized alternative for technical domain requiring precision and speed. So O1 is probably gonna get replaced with O3 and that's gonna be the general model and the Mini is gonna be more specialized for speed and domain specific knowledge. And this is also important to note, all paid users will also have the option for selecting O3 Mini High in the model picker for higher intelligence version that takes longer to generate responses. Pro users will also have unlimited access to both O3 Mini and O3 Mini High. So this is really interesting. They have these models here based on the type of effort they put in. So you could see low reasoning effort, medium reasoning effort, and high reasoning effort really strange how they named these models. So you got O1 Mini, then you got O1 Mini Low, O1 Mini Medium, O1 Mini High. In my account here, I have O1 Mini and I have O1 Mini High. This is the pro account. I still don't have it in my Teams or the free account, but these two right now are gonna give me unlimited access as long as I have the pro account, which is $200 a month. And if you look at some of this benchmark right here, you could see O1 is at 83. O1 Mini High, this is the best version of O1 Mini. It's beating the full-blown O1 version right here. Now, when it comes to PhD science questions, it's almost exactly tied with O1 here, but it's a little bit shy of that here. But probably O3, the full-blown version of it, is just gonna beat these two by quite a bit. Now, I think this is where it really shines. It says in this competition code, look at the numbers here. Pretty much every version of it beats O1 Preview by a, quite a bit. And these two versions also beat the full-blown O1 and a huge leap from O1 Mini over here. And here's a software engineering benchmark over here. Again, O3 Mini High beats the full-blown O1 model as well. Now they have other benchmarks on this page too, but they don't have anything where they compare it to other available models. They're only comparing it to their own models. There is nothing against DeepSeek R1 or Gemini or things like that but I'll go ahead and make videos comparing it to those very soon too. Okay, let's take this for a quick test drive here. I'm gonna start here with ChatGPT O1 Mini over here. And I actually just posted a video comparing O1 versus DeepSeek R1, the reasoning models, and O1 failed two questions. So I'm gonna test out those questions first. The first was, which one is bigger, 9.11 or 9.9? .9? This is something that O1 failed when I tested it just yesterday. So let's see how it compares here. That took four seconds. Let me click on the reasoning. Okay, let's see, comparing very little reasoning required and therefore 9.91 is bigger than 9.11. And again, O1 got this wrong just yesterday when I tested it. So 
this is a pass for this one. And I'll start a new one here. This one, it also failed kind of halfway. It gave me half the question, but this had a little bit of twist to it because I was looking for two viable answers. A horse costs 50, chicken costs 20, goat costs 40. You bought four animals for a total of 140. Which combination did you buy? Okay, let's see what it does here. Let me click on this reasoning. I wanna kind of see it. Okay, it has a little bit of thinking. Okay, this is actually, it has more steps than O1 did. And it is showing its work over here too, so that's nice. Let's see. Both combinations give you four animals for a total of 140. You could have bought animals in one of two ways. Zero horses, one chicken, three goats. Two horses, two chickens, zero goats. Okay, perfect. This is again another question in my test just yesterday. Deep Seek R1 got it right, O1 got it wrong. And in the very first one, this has got it exactly right and both sides of it. The other O1 model only gave me half the answer, but this was more of a trick question to see if it gives me every possible correct solution. Let me try O3 mini high, and I'm gonna actually give it a coding question because on this dropdown it says great at coding and logic. And this is something I never got any model to get right. I'm gonna ask it to create a game of chess for me. I could run locally on my computer. Okay, so here's the game he gave me. The pieces are not there because that would require me to download them from the web. So I just made these, but I could kind of guess where things are. This is a pawn. So this moves this way. They move this way. This should be my queen. That is the right way it should move. Just move this guy down. Okay, this is my bishop here. I'll move it here. Let's say they move here. And then this is my queen. You can move this way, this way. Yep, all these are right. And I should take this piece. Okay, that should be checkmate. Let's see. Yep, it's checkmate. I didn't get a message, but it's not letting me move any other pieces. So it knows the game is over. Wow, that worked really well. I'm gonna try one other thing because one of the best updates in this is this right here, which I was trying to actually use right now. But let me try again. I could now turn on search and let it combine this reasoning model with search. So I'm gonna ask it to find me the pieces that I need to make this look like an actual chess game instead of those shapes. Wow, this is actually incredible right here because we never had the option of combining search with a reasoning model inside of ChatGPT. It found a link for me. I clicked the link. It found these pieces for me. And then it's saying, save these to a folder called assets on the same directory. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then run the game again. Oh, wow. We got ourselves a full blown chess game. Let me try that again. Okay, move this over here. Move this down here. Move this over here. Move this over here. And oh, wow. That is just wild. That worked perfectly. I, I have never in two years of testing AI tools got usually not even a checkers game to properly work all the way. And this literally told me where to find all these pieces on a website, copy and paste and make a folder. That's incredible. Now here's another STEM based question. And I have no idea how to solve this, but I do have the answer key. And if you have harder questions, I'm doing a deep dive video. I'm going to compare this against DeepSeek R1. So please let me know in the comment section what those are so I could test that out in the very next video. Okay, I do have the answer key. The answer is 12. So I got that one right too. And I did not even have to use O3 mini high. I just used the regular one that everybody has access to now. Okay, here's another one. Again, I have the answer. If you wanna pause it and try to solve it, I, again, have no idea how to solve this. Okay, and this also matches my answer key. If you could double check that for me, if you understand this kind of a problem, let me know also if it's correct. That's what my answer key had as well. So, so far, I can't even come up with questions to throw O3 mini off. So I'm gonna do some more digging to try to find harder questions. I'll look at all your comments in the description and then I'll test that out. The O3 mini versus O1 and DeepSeek R1 to see what we come up with. But from my early testing, it's extremely impressive, extremely fast. You got web search on top of reasoning. It's available to free users inside of ChatGPT. So I'll do some more deep dives. I'll check out your comments for more suggestions and I'll catch you on the next video.